be body positive and still want to lose weight. My simple answer is yes. You can be body positive and still want to lose weight. In this video, I'm going to share with you my three reasons why you can be body positive and still want to lose weight. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jean here from Authentic Energy. I'm here to help you become body confident, healthier and happier with the right wellness strategies so you don't have to stress over dieting, calorie restrictions, um, you know, body image or what other people think of you. Okay, so this topic is something that I actually get asked a lot and this channel is all about promoting body confidence and body positivity, right? So a lot of people would like come to me and ask me like doesn't mean that you don't care about weight loss at all. Doesn't mean that if I think about weight loss, I'm not being body positive. I'm not being body loving. This is a great question. I've been dying. I've been dying to talk to you guys about. So um, here it is, right? You hear it from me and also here at Team Authentic Energy, we believe that body positivity comes from actually the genuine love for your body, okay, and the genuine care for your well being. So, having said that, the number one reason that I'll tell you why you can still be body positive but still want to lose weight because sometimes to improve your well being and to improve your health, weight loss is required. Okay, so I'm going to say this one more time. Sometimes in order to improve your health and your well-being, weight loss is actually required. Okay, so this is where, you know, we're talking about putting focus and paying attention to your health and your well-being. Okay, body positivity comes from, you know, your love and care for yourself and for your total well-being. It's not driven by vanity. It's not driven by body shame or social expectations, but it is actually driven by your love for yourself, the genuine care that you have for your body. Okay, so one thing that we are very concerned here at Team Authentic Energy is the increasing rate of obesity in the world. It is a worldwide epidemic, right? Obesity. So we cannot ignore, you know, we cannot ignore the ref the red flags. We cannot ignore, you know, the world problem of so many people being unhealthily overweight due to like poor nutrition, due to poor diet, due to um, poor lifestyle. Right. So we can't just say that, you know, you are unhealthy, but, you know, just celebrate who you are, celebrate your uniqueness and just be whatever you want. No. But if your weight is already in the unhealthy zone, which can lead to things like diabetes, um, you know, heart diseases, high blood pressures and other chronic diseases, then we cannot ignore that. We do have to take the necessary steps and the necessary actions to reduce the weight right, in a healthy manner and also to improve your health. Okay, so um, once again, I would like to remind everybody, we have a very, very um, important and very powerful mantra here at um, Team Authentic Energy and also in our body confidence mastery. We say that body confidence does not depend on your physical appearance. It focuses on your authentic expression and your abilities to love and care for yourself. Okay, so apart from being authentic as yourself, you also need to take really good care. You need to acquire the abilities to love and care for yourself. So knowing, you know, if and also being aware that if you have any physical discomfort, any pains or any sort of like health red flags coming up, you know, all these body signals, then it is really time for you to, you know, work with a coach. You can work with me, work with someone to actually find out the imbalances in your body and to find out, you know, whether if you do need to reduce your body weight in order to be healthier, in order for your body functions, your energies, your hormones to be balanced and to be, you know, at the optimal level. And reason number two, yes, you can be body positive and still want to lose weight. That is because body positivity is not an all or nothing kind of like way of living. Okay, so I know a lot of people make um, some kind of assumption that, you know, being body positive means that you shouldn't be thinking about weight loss. Okay, if you think about weight loss or weight gain or change your body or change something, then you're not being body positive. You don't have any right to, you know, call yourself body positive. And um, another one that I get a lot, actually, 
personally I've received this from some people is that you know you're thin you're not like big or round or heavy you have no right to celebrate body positivity because body positivity should only be celebrated by bigger women okay so I know there are a lot of different kind of like thoughts of, you know cons uh, assumptions out there made about body positivity however here at our team okay we believe that there shouldn't be a fine line drawn between fat and thin people right like either you're all or nothing we don't believe that it should be a binary construct okay because if you think of it as a black and white binary construct that leaves no room for a lot of us who actually fall in between right so there's no room for people for example there is a lot of people that actually have medical issues that actually require weight loss in order to improve health and well-being and also we have a lot of people who actually struggle with um, things like eating disorder or they have an unhealthy relationship with food okay or people that actually experience personal changes and on um, these personal changes lead to some kind of weight loss but that has nothing to do with the diet culture and also there are many many people in the community that are you know, navigating their way to body confidence body positivity and but they're still struggling you know with diet culture so you know this is where we're like you know what there shouldn't be there shouldn't be black and white for body positivity there should be a space where you know these people will fall in there and they can still find their place they can still belong and also work you know towards their body positivities their body love and body confidence and yes you can be body positive and still want to lose weight the reason number three is because weight loss does not equal to diet culture okay so here at team authentic energy we don't believe that weight loss is necessarily an equivalent of the diet culture okay so what we do is we basically detach ourselves from the diet culture and we look at weight loss as something that's um you know coming from the wellness the wellness perspective we look at weight loss as a way of bringing balance into your body and as a way of improving your overall well-being and also your overall health so here we're talking about you know weight loss as something that we do to value our overall health something that we do to improve our emotional being instead of looking at weight loss as something that's focusing on thinness focusing on you know attractiveness some kind of physical attraction that the diet culture emphasizes so in our bcm program our body confidence mastery program what we do is we actually we don't shame or judge anybody for wanting to to lose weight and in fact if anybody wants to lose weight what we do is we actually teach and embrace a body positive weight management okay so we teach body positive weight management skills and strategies to our students so that they can actually use the right wellness strategies and the right balance to improve their diet okay so we're talking about nutrition daily nutrition lifestyle okay and also their body movement and also very very importantly their relationship with their body and also not to mention the mind management as well right so here we're looking at a total wellness uh, management that is actually a big part of the body positive body positive weight management system and a lot of things that you probably have done in the past or you've heard from the convention the conventional way of you know uh, weight loss things like you know the obsessive weighing the calorie restrictions or calorie tracking what else um, comparing your body to other people's body or you know obsessive dieting or or, you know like some overly strict sort of like food choices we don't practice any of that here now some of you are probably curious what exactly is a body positive weight management okay so I can give you some example of what our body positive weight management can look like okay so the strategies that we use in the body positive weight management are quite scientifically proven so what what we do is we utilize self-care progress tracking tools okay so instead of the conventional tools like how you have to weigh in all the time and things like that measuring yourself all the time we use self-care focused progress tracking tools and also we utilize we teach everybody the foundational nutritional skills 
okay so especially for women you know what are the nutrition skills you need to have what are the nutrition knowledge you need to have for your feminine body that's very important um, we also teach wellness skills and habits and also a big thing that we focus on is personalized body and mind coaching okay so it's very important for us to really connect our body and our mind together in order to really achieve that next level confidence for yourself and for your body our goal is to allow you to enjoy your health journey your personal transformation journey your healthy weight management journey without the stress without the pressure or any social expectations that you normally get from the diet culture Okay, so these are my three reasons for you to tell you why that you can actually be body positive and still want to lose weight. Okay, so firstly, you know, weight loss sometimes is a good way to, you know, improve your health and fitness. Okay, it is required. Remember, weight loss sometimes is required in order for you to improve your health okay so do not dismiss weight loss altogether and don't just like you know um don't ignore any health signs okay any health reflex that you have and secondly okay you can be body positive and still want to lose weight because uh, body positivity is not a binary construct it is not an uh, all or nothing kind of way of living okay you can fall in between and you can still embrace your unique selves yet still want to you know bring your way to the balanced the balanced way so that you can actually function and you know feel happy you can feel happy and your body can function happily and healthily and lastly weight loss does not equal to diet culture so you don't have to associate weight loss with diet culture all the time we can learn to ditch the diet culture way of thinking but focus on positive body positive weight management so that you're able to learn the right skills to acquire the right you know uh, nutritional foundation skills and different wellness strategies to actually help yourself become happier and healthier okay so um you know at the end of the day i just want to tell you guys that body positivity body confidence can mean different things to everyone and let me know in the comment below what does body positivity mean to you and you know what are you currently doing in order to help yourself embrace body positivity are you part of the body positivity movement right so let me know in the comment below and um you know it doesn't really matter there are different opinions out there and i welcome everybody to share your opinion on the whole body positivity movement with me as well um at the end of the day my goal is to basically share my 100 authentic energies and my 100 authentic um opinions and also experiences with you guys so that i could be here to help you guys make your body confidence journey a lot easier than mine right and also i'm here to inspire you guys to take big actions to make you know that body confidence breakthrough this year and beyond so once again i'm a certified women's coaching specialist so i have actually learned from a bunch of like health and fitness experts and also medical professions who are you know women's women's health focused so with all the skills and also all the knowledge i've acquired i'm committed to help more and more women like yourself to improve your health to improve your mental well-being and to improve your overall body confidence and your self-confidence so i'm looking forward to working with a lot of you girls this year and um, yeah let's elevate let's elevate all together let's really rock it together all right so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um you know if you enjoy it please you know share comment and like and of course if you're new here um you know click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because i'm here every week to give you the best tips the best wellness strategies and tips to help you become body confident healthier and happier all right so i'll catch you guys next time bye Oh,